Yo guys, check this out. Damn. This is gonna be a really nice photo spot. Let me tell you about those Serbs. They would be fucking unstoppable. If they could just On to the next spot. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kino. Today, we're finally gonna install the side markers. I got some tools, and yesterday I went ahead and bought myself a drill so that it'll be easier for me to cut. And, um... And I also got a carbon fiber can art. This isn't for the uh, front end. This is actually for the rear. You'll see what it's gonna look like. I almost forgot to mention that I got myself a new tow hook. Last time I had a Neochrome and the paint started chipping. I really like the uh, Neochrome because uh, my car, it's like all the accessories, they're titanium, like the lug nuts, the steering bolts. <coughs> Pretty much like a lot of stuff are so I wanted to match everything, but I think I'm gonna change my plan. Um, I'm gonna go with purple. This should last longer than the uh, neochrome. The neochrome it only lasted, I would say, four months, and the paint started like coming off, and it, it wasn't too good. I mean, it's it's not really expensive. It's really cheap, so I can't really complain. But um, for the shows, I want it to look perfect, so. That's why I got a new one. If the paint on the purple starts coming off, I'm gonna go for a different brand. I don't want to spend too much money on tow hooks, so uh, Ben and Industries is good for me. And I really want the uh, round design. We don't have time because I have to prep for the show tomorrow, so I'll see you guys outside. Also ordered LED bulbs for the uh, turn signals on the headlight. The reason for that is because you could see the reflection of the amber bulb and I really want to get rid of that. So uh, I got the LED one which will keep it like clear. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the easier one. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you could actually like reach for the uh, bulb. Yeah, with the... Uh, position light you have to take the entire headlights off but um just for a turn signal it should be down here somewhere so I have to take the vent because <laughs> uh, my hands were my hands are too big and um, this way it should be a lot easier to take the uh, bulb So that's off. Here's the bulb that I ordered. It has a projector at the uh, top or the tip. And to replace it, it's fairly simple. You just pull this thing off. You don't need to twist it or anything. You just pull it. Like that. And. Oh man, it's a lot longer than the stock one. Should be fine though. And just put this in. Yep, it's working. And now all you gotta do is just put put the uh, bulb back in. There you go. Uh, this wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> you can still see the yellow reflection. But uh, I guess it's better than the stock. But yeah, that's good for now. OK, 
Okay, let's compare before and after. The LED side is so much brighter. That's the stock one. Sick. Okay, so both sides are replaced. It's actually growing on me because uh, it kind of looks cool with the projector at the tip. And at least there's less reflection of uh, amber. So that's good. And I'm really happy with the brightness of the signals. <laughs> I think it's bright as like a low beam. Wow. Sick. So now let's go try replacing these with these ones. I took the uh, side markers off and I'll be taping it around the surface where I'll be cutting so that I don't damage the paint. So obviously this is way longer than this clip. That's 6.5 centimeters. And that side is like 6.25. I remember this part on both sides they were hitting. So I'm gonna cut that part off. Well actually, I'm not gonna film while I drill because uh, I wanna be careful with it. I'll show you when it's done. Check this out. It fits perfect now. Um, I ended up not needing the drills for the uh, side markers. I just had to cut it with the uh, handsaw. But yeah, look at the fitment though. Fits perfect. Nice. And that thing matches so well with this. Sick. All I gotta do now is work on the headlights. Make it black interior and put some halos on. It's gonna be sick. But I'm still gonna need the drill for the canard, so I'm glad I bought it. Okay, the next step is gonna be the canard. And let me show you where I'm gonna put it. Right there. That's gonna be sick. And that's the rear view. So in order to install the uh, canard, I have to take off the diffuser. So I'm gonna unscrew the bolt underneath. So now that the diffuser is off, um, what I'm gonna do next is place the canard where I want it and from the holes on the diffuser right there well I got three um, I'm gonna mark from the bottom so that I know where to drill on this canard Oh man, this is gonna be sick. Okay, so what do you guys think? Too much? The reason why I got this is because the diffuser is so towards the inside. I wanted something a little more to it to the outside so that it's not too inward but that I don't know if I want that <laughs> I think that's too much for me unless I have a wing but I don't so I don't know maybe a little more inside 
Uh, maybe. I'm gonna be getting a splitter in the front, so I'm definitely gonna need something that's gonna be sticking out. Hmm. Maybe it'll sit better on the side skirt? Oh, definitely, yes. Or how about in the front? Because there's carbon fiber in the front bumper. Maybe it'll match like that. Maybe. What do you guys think? I was planning to install that today, but I don't know. Uh, I might save it for later. Let me know what you guys think on the comment down below. I think I need another canard in the back or get a bigger diffuser. And maybe I should put these on the side skirt. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think, guys. I'm just gonna replace the tow hook real quick. See the paint chipping off and inside the letters, uh, they're all peeling. Maybe neochrome isn't the best custom parts. Um, like these, uh, they are full titanium, so they never peel. That's ac the actual metal that's burnt. That's not gonna be scratched easily like aluminum. I want all the small hardwares to match with this, but uh, maybe I should just go with purple just to make it simple. Okay, so that's the purple. It matches with the lug nuts. Even the exhaust, it's uh, titanium, it's by Trust. And so are the uh, steering bolts. That's why I got these from NRG, because they're the only one that makes the uh, neochrome. But I guess I have to go with purple on the outside. Okay, so let's take this off. I remember I didn't film when I was installing this because I was in such a rush. But all you do is you just bolt them and there's a bracket on the other end. That's pretty much it. Okay, so, so that's before Look at all those damages from like rocks. But yeah, it's really bad. And that's after. Looks so much cleaner. I'm liking the purple better uh, than the neochrome. It matches the color too. Sick. I just got a text from my friend from Hawaii who's visiting Japan right now. Uh, that he's at the nearest station already, so I'm gonna go pick him up. So maybe the side markers, it'll be installed the next time. So yeah, uh, let's head down to the station. Hey, what's up guys? We just landed in Narita and made it made our way down to Oz thank you so much for picking us up there's Keiko in the back <laughs> so I'm nervous <laughs> can't wait to get our Japan vlog started all right shoots all right so we're at Izakaya Welcome back to Japan! Oh, this is really good. Alright, so we just finished drinking and I'm gonna close off the vlog. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching Oz's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shoots!